Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Free pick coming up in college basketball. Going to get to that in a moment. If you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, a short card for me yesterday. We went 2-1 and one with our premium picks. I won both both of my NHL plays. Going to talk about that in just a moment. And uh, we lost a four-star in college basketball. We swept the weekend Saturday and Sunday. Still up almost $7,000 for $100 per unit betters this college basketball season. But uh, Lon Kruger can coach. I'm telling you, man, we've been watching this guy forever back in his Kansas State days, of course, out here in Vegas at UNLV. And what he's been able to do these last four games all against top 10 opposition at the time he played them. Beating the first three and covering against Texas Tech was really something. We had Tech, they came up a bucket short, and again, hats off to Lon Kruger and his players who just, boy, he's just such a great coach. But anyway, as far as everything else, I wanted to mention NBA real quick because last night we cut a video overnight and mentioned that we were looking to have a seven-star play in the NBA for Monday. Uh, some information came in before the games are released by us, and I decided to pull it. I decided it was uh, one of those deals where it's discretion is the better part of valor, as they say. Say, pulled it. Good thing we did because it did go down to defeat, but I didn't want to give out a play after we got some late information on that team. And uh, fortunately, again, it was before that, uh, before we even released the play. So uh, nobody got a play in the NBA yesterday, but I am involved today. I've got a four-star play in Tuesday NBA action aside. 75% run is our current run with our four-star slam dunks in the NBA. Uh, wanted to mention also we've got a Tuesday slam dunk. Again, we're going to look to go back up over $7,000 with this play on Tuesday in college basketball. Uh, soccer, I've got a four-star play to start things out. Uh, da daytime action in the EPL. Uh, by the way, my six and seven-star plays in soccer up over $2,100. This one's a four star, uh, but the way the schedule is lined up and of course lines come out early, we might have a six or seven star play coming up later this week in soccer. I'll let you know. All right. So that's everything that's going for me on uh, Tuesday. Again, the start of the show, the five star play in the NHL. Wanted to mention that again, because after last night, Monday night sweep, six star on Boston, plus a puck line play on Montreal going 2-0. Uh, we are now nine and two with our last 11 NHL plays up over $2,300 for $100 per unit better and I've got a five-star going on the ice on Tuesday on my homepage, DocSports.com, and uh, you'll be able to grab that again over on my homepage on the site. All right, let's get to our free play for today, and I wanted to uh, punch up the line here. Maryland hosting Purdue, little shot at revenge, same season revenge for the Terps. Uh, they're pick them and laying, and I see in the few books now, Maryland is a one-point favorite as we speak. Uh, they had a horrendous start in that game against Purdue, the first meeting in which Purdue was able to win the game 73-70, to 70, but Midway through the first half, it's 25 to 10. Boilermakers and Wisconsin, excuse me, Maryland was stinking it up, and it was tied at 70. They came all the way back, tied it up at 70 with about a minute to go. Couldn't score another point. Purdue uh, beats the Terps by a 73-70 final. Uh, notable things in that game. Now Purdue is not a bad three-point shooting team. They hit about 35, 36 percent of their three-pointers. They made 46 percent of their three-pointers in that game. They went 10 of 22 in a home court just three-point win against against the Terps. Now, as far as Maryland was concerned, uh, they were horrible from the free throw line. Listen, they're not a great shooting free throw team by any stretch, but they went 10 for 21. They are better than a 48% free throw shooting team. So, I mean, they hit, you know, they go 13 for 21, which ain't too hot, and we got overtime in that game. So I expect uh, the little issues that Maryland was having when they took on Purdue and lost by three in West Lafayette uh, to be cleaned up. And I like Maryland to win this game and gain a measure of revenge. So we are, oh, by the way, Dante Scott, watch this guy if you get a chance to watch this game. He's one of these big guards who can drag an opponent out to the three-point line can that three make him dangerous enough in the deep perimeter that things can open up in the paint? I like this kid, Dante Scott, obviously, uh, but check him out if you get a chance. All right, so our free play is Maryland. we got to bounce back from yesterday's free play loss. Free play today on Tuesday on Maryland. Uh, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Super Bowl props video with me and Rafael Esparza uh, will be up by Tuesday evening. We're going to cut that on Tuesday afternoon, so be sure to check that out. And I'll be right back here on Tuesday with my individual daily plays also. All right, let's put them in the win column on Tuesday.